Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian's Weather Forecast. This is going to be another update on Windstorm Kate again. It's going to bring snow all the way from many areas into the south central, all the way up into Maine. So definitely affect millions of people later this week. I do apologize for um not posting yesterday. I was very, very busy. I had tennis practice and lacrosse practice. So I do apologize again. I really wanted to post, and I just got home way too late to post. And I do apologize for my voice. I, I messed up my voice uh, during Super Bowl, of course, by yelling. So again, I really do apologize for some voice cracks or anything like that. But again, I didn't want to cancel today's video just because of that. But again, be sure to subscribe, guys, if you guys are new to the channel. It really means a lot when you guys support my channel. Also, be sure to share the channel to any, uh, to any friends or family that you think will really love my daily weather forecast. But without further ado, let's get into what Winds from K is going to bring. So here we're going to be looking at the National Weather Service really, um, really quick. But again, we have a ton of winter weather advisors and windstorm warnings out here into the South Central, all the way up into the Ozarks. So again, here we have a little area out here uh, all the way up into near the Springfield, Illinois area, all the way down to southwestern Texas. So again, we have a ton of windstorm, uh, windstorm warnings out here near the Lubbock area. We do have Wichita Falls. We do have out, out there all the way to southwestern Texas, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, out there near Joplin, Joplin St. Louis, Springfield, and um, out here near Jefferson City. And then for the uh, winter weather advisors, that's for the Armorill area, Law in Oklahoma. We do have that for the Fort Worth, uh, Texas area, northwestern Arkansas, Kansas City, Wichita, uh, out there, north central Missouri, all the way up into the areas into north central Illinois. Again, it's going to bring a ton of snow. It's actually going to be very, very heavy at times. But again, this is we're going to start seeing this this uh, snow become uh, more. This is going to be the most recent snow out here into the north central Texas area near the Lubbock area. Again, that's where we're going to be seeing um, most of that snow near a uh, post out there. Um, again, Lubbock, um, all the way out there near. Um, Seminole and Wichita Falls and yeah, that's basically where we are Seeing right here into the north central Texas area So now we are going to be looking out here into all the way to the next 12 hours So by very early tomorrow morning, we're starting to see that snow picking up out here into the eastern New Mexico area far north central Texas and areas into south Eastern Colorado gonna be very heavy snow especially out here near the Armarillo area and then much of eastern New Mexico as we now move on into the next couple hours, um, by tomorrow evening, this snow is going to get a lot worse. going to bring very, very heavy snow near the Joplin area. Blizzard conditions are likely for the Oklahoma City and Tulsa area. Going to bring that snow all the way to the Wichita Falls area, Lubbock, and maybe even all the way near Air Paso. Uh, so definitely going to be seeing some threats out there. As we now get into Thursday, this snow is going to become a lot worse. And again, it's also going to bring rain for tons of states whole states can get rain such as tennessee and kentucky so there's not going to be there's going to be no escape from this rain out here again we're going to be seeing the snow out here now moving into thursday it is going to start moving northeast so we're going to start bringing a heavier snow into the joplin and tulsa area and then we'll see a, ma a major threat especially for ice into the ohio valley going to bring some ice threats for nurse granton state college columbus ohio and indianapolis and we could possibly see blizzard conditions near the um south bend area fort wayne columbus or not sorry not columbus toledo cleveland and possibly all the way near the detroit and then as we now move into later into thursday afternoon we'll start to see the snow out here in chicago uh, St. Louis still, uh, Detroit, Lansing, uh, possibly still in the Fort Wayne area, Toledo. And then you see this very heavy snow moving into the New England as well. Going to start affecting Burlington, Concord, New Hampshire, um, Portland, and all the way near the Caribou. And then we'll possibly see the snow moving a little bit more to the south. Now, possibly, this is actually part is very, very unlikely. But it could possibly dip into the Indianapolis area, Evansville, Paducah. Uh, still going to affect Chicago and even bring some more ice out here into the New England area. And then it should be mostly over. And then we could see a potential another system. Again, this is actually not the same system right here. This is another system, but they're actually just right after the other. Now we're looking at the GFS again. Here we have the next six hours. going to start seeing the snow very uh, really picking up again. This is actually 11 o'clock uh, central time. going to start seeing the snow out here into the... Lubbock area, possibly Armarillo, and all the way near the Albuquerque area. Could be seeing a couple snow flurry snow showers. 
but it's gonna get a lot worse out here into later into the next 20 uh sorry 18 hours so very early afternoon uh actually around noon central time gonna start seeing an ice threat out here into the Wichita Falls area, all the way near the Joplin area, and then we could be seeing blizzard conditions near the Gainesville, Texas, out there into far northern Texas, seeing maybe some snow out here into the far southern New Mexico, uh, and then also out here into southwestern Texas, and even seeing flurries all the way up into the Kansas City uh, uh, metro area. Then in the next 24 hours, this is definitely where we need to talk, uh, make a video about against the major snow we're going to be seeing out here into the Ozarks and Plains and then the South Central, mostly just Texas. Very heavy snow for Joplin, uh, Jefferson City, St. Louis, Kansas City, Wichita, and even out the, all the way near Springfield. And then I'll start seeing this lighter snow near the Oklahoma City area. It looks like Dallas is just going to miss out on the system. Possibly some snow for El Paso. And then it will move in again by Thursday, a major system now into the Midwest and Ohio Valley continue to bring some snow all the way into the Tulsa area, all the way up to the Buffalo and Syracuse out there into um, into the New York, uh, central New York. Seeing some snow for northwestern Arkansas, St. Louis, uh, looks like Springfield, Illinois can be seeing some snow out here, Chicago. Aurora, uh, Detroit, Lansing, and then a major ice threat for Columbus, uh, p potentially Youngstown, Ohio, Toledo, uh, uh, Cleveland, State College, and then a major freezing rain threat as well for the areas near Scranton, the Poconos area, into the north uh, eastern part of New uh, Pennsylvania. And then by the next 54 hours, again, here we'll have a possibly another system forming out here off the Ohio River, boasting the snow out here into South Bend, um, out here near Michigan City, Detroit, Lansing, Big Rapids, Muskegon, and then seeing this most of the snow moving into the uh, Ontario area and then Nova Scotia. And then we could potentially see another system that actually could also affect my area later this week, but again, very unlikely. Again, the next four hours, we're going to start seeing some very heavy snow near the Amarillo area. And then we're going to start seeing this pick up by the next 12 hours. This is definitely going to bring very very heavy snow for lubbock and also some snow out here not far from the uh, el Paso area so again also going to be very very snowy moving into the overnight hours and then as we now get into the next 24 hours is also going to get a lot worse going to start bringing two sections could bring some snow out here um a chance again looks like not really going to affect the dallas or fort worth area but again still going to be under with weather advisors as there is a chance again it is a south central in dallas and fort worth uh, these cities don't usually see that much snow. Again, could be seeing blizzard conditions for the Jefferson City area and possibly some freezing rain and um, ice pellets moving in into the Poplar Bluff, Joplin, and Saint, moving into St. Louis. And then as we now get into the next 31 hours, we'll have another layer of snow moving into the Oklahoma City area, Wichita Falls, moving out here, and it's going to actually start connecting with the uh, second, with the originally first band. Uh, over the Missouri area. So again, it's going to move through Missouri and it's actually going to start bringing some ice ahead of time within the next 32 hours all the way into the uh, into the mid-Atlantic and start bringing some snow out here into the, uh, into the uh, Midwest and start bringing some snow out here into the Plains and Ozarks. It's going to be very light unless you're out there into north central uh, Oklahoma and this could bring some very heavy snow for Tulsa out there near St. Louis, could be seeing major snow threats near the Syracuse, Ithaca, and Albany area. Could be seeing major threats for New York City, uh, Newport, and Hartford. Potentially more of a, a ice threat, and then seeing the snow is still out here into Springfield, uh, out here near St. Louis, Jefferson City. Still going to be seeing a, that second band very long lasting. And then again, we'll possibly see another system that again, we're just going to be seeing a ton of rain as well. Now for snowfall totals, again, Europeans is actually showing really, yeah, it's actually really easy. Just look at this big system, though, all the way from potentially the Mexico border all the way to Nova Scotia. So very uh, long system, as you can say. Uh, Going to be seeing three to five inches for Oklahoma City and possibly six to nine inches for uh, Tulsa. So Chad Crawford, it's actually your finally another good chance to say you're getting snow. You got one, what, just over two weeks ago. So now it's another chance of snow. Joplin forest into the snowfall out here into the north central Texas area. Could be reaching possibly 11 to 12 inches of snowfall. Possibly a foot of snow out here. Uh, possibly one to three inches out here. 
Uh, Lubbock could be seeing three to five inches in Armarillo, one to two inches of snowfall. Could be seeing five to seven plus inches near Jefferson City and half a foot for St. Louis. Same amounts for the Springfield area and then one to two inches for Chicago. Could be seeing one to possibly four inches near Indianapolis, four inches for uh, for Fort Wayne. Could be seeing two to three inches near Detroit. Could be seeing again four to six inches for Toledo, three to five inches for uh, Cleveland. Uh, possibly five to seven inches out here into the upstate New York area. Could be seeing a good amount of snowfall in the, into the Rochester and Ithaca area. Syracuse, on the other hand, one to three inches. Buffalo could be seeing up to half a foot of snowfall as well, four to five inches near the Concord area. Half a foot for Burlington and uh, Mount Washington, and then all the way into the coastal areas of far southeastern Maine. Could be seeing four to possibly five inches of snowfall. Now time for the GFS. It is also showing around a foot of snowfall here into the Wichita Falls area and Gainesville, Texas. Could be seeing a, a good a majority of much of north central Texas with 10 to 11 inches of snowfall, which is very, very uh, historic, as you can say, very rare as well. It is also showing around half a foot of snowfall for the far southwestern Texas, which is also uh, not a every time or every uh, every year thing. Could be seeing 8 to 11 inches or more into far southern uh, Oklahoma. Could be seeing 3 to 4 inches for Oklahoma or for Tulsa. And then 1 to 3 inches for uh, Oklahoma City. 1 to 2 inches out here. Maybe even 3 at Kansas City. Again, it looks like St. Louis, 3 inches. And then Jefferson City and Joplin up to 4 to 5 inches. Areas near uh, Chicago have actually increased up to 5 inches of snowfall. Uh, looks like Indianapolis, one to three inches of the snowfall in Fort Wayne, South and even Michigan City out here. All those areas into far northern Indiana, four to five inches of the snowfall out here into the um the Detroit and Toledo area could be seeing a range from three to six inches of the snowfall, and then we're seeing a, just a ton of snow out here into the far northeastern area could be seeing close to a foot of snowfall. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please never to like and subscribe. And again, I do apologize for my voice. But bye, guys.